The challenge for the uh, Congress Programming Committee was to translate all the work that we had already done up until uh, the early parts of 2020 um, and, and pivot that and, and recalibrate our thinking to how would that uh, planning translate into an online environment. Uh, once we had a, a look at the platform that was uh, made available for review um, and we saw the potential and possibilities, it became obvious that that, that was possible. The thing that surprised me with the online environment um, was the amount of engagement with the platform. Um, we might not have known how many people were in each session, but boy, it seemed like there was a lot from the number of comments that were people were posting, you know, even just to say hi from you know, their part of the world to let you know they were there. Uh, a lot of rich, diverse uh, countries were represented and um, Emma reported in the closing ceremony that we actually had representation of 122 countries I think that was one of the, the real successes, that it did open up the audience to a wide, much broader spectrum of people who might not otherwise have been able to attend, either for financial or social or, or work commitments. The Congress platform was really good in being able to see the sessions, map out a program, uh, decide what the priorities were, and having the choice to whether you wanted to see it now um, live or knowing you could watch that content on demand at a time that was more convenient, that's going to be a real winner, uh, a real legacy from this. Having it all recorded and on demand for three months um, after the event really means people can engage at their leisure. And if something was really inspiring, you get the chance to watch it again and, and pick up the nuances or the, the bits that you missed. And that's something you just don't get at a standard Congress that's face to face. This particular Congress uh, being online uh, didn't change uh, the importance of posters and uh, abstract presentations. There's a huge diversity of really good projects out there across the niche areas of uh, physiotherapy practice uh, from all around the world. And ultimately the, the, the posters and the abstracts were hugely popular Coming to the end of the Congress um, is, is a bittersweet um, reflection. It's a, it's, a, it's a great event. There's a great buzz about it. It's the culmination of so much work. I learned that um, the resilience of the physiotherapy population out there to support and join us on this pivoting to an online event uh, will make it very interesting to see what their appetite is going forward when we are able to meet face to face, because I think there has been a lot more positives than we may have anticipated.